Welcome, I'm Ramon Williamson from mavenair.com. Doing interviews with others is a great way to create content for your blog. It's also a great way to create information products that you can sell. In this quick video, an overview of the approach and the tools that I use. The first question to ask yourself is audio or video? I recommend going with video because if you record a video, then you have the audio available that can be extracted. You can also get the video transcribed through a service like nonotes.com. This adds dimension to your blog post and value to your information products. Now let's go over the two methods. The first is the audio method. Now you can record audio by telephone and you can use a tool like freeconferencing.com or freeconferencepro.com. Com. Now, the method that I prefer and use is Skype. Now, Skype is a free service that allows you to make telephone or audio and video calls anywhere in the world. Now, I use Skype with a tool called Call Recorder on my Mac. And if you're on a PC, there are several tools you can pick from. One's called Pamela. There's a new one called Super 1010. And there's also one called I Am Capture that works on the Mac and the PC. Now, I'm not a PC user, so I wanted to give you a bunch of them to check out because all of these have gotten good reviews and will work. Now, the number one problem with audio is that often one side is louder than the other. Now, what I use for that is something called Adobe Audition. Now, it's a bit pricey, but if you go over to a website like Fiverr.com, you'll likely find someone that can even out the sides of the audio for about $5. The next is the video method. Now, for video, I use the same basic tools. I use Skype and call recorder, or you can use IM Capture on the PC. The number one thing to look for when you're picking the software is for the split screen side-by-side -side recording. That's how you get those great looking videos where you see one person on one side and the other person on the other side. Now, for editing, what I use and recommend on the Mac is ScreenFlow. And on the PC, you can use a great program called Camtasia. Now, there's also a version of Camtasia available for the Mac. So that's an overview of the tools. The next question to ask yourself is who to interview? Well, it really depends on your goals overall, but there are three things to keep in mind. Number one, well-known authors and experts that your audience wants to hear from. So who has credibility with your audience? Who does your audience want to hear from? What's the new book that's just released that you're reading and you recommend others read? You also want to interview authors and providers of products and services that you recommend. So if there's a particular affiliate offer, that means when you recommend the product or service, you get a percentage or some sort of commission for recommending it. So let's say if you're recommending a particular author who's created a course, you could interview them, an educational interview, giving great value and content, and then pointing them to a special link to purchase the product. You can also interview top experts or topic experts that complement what you teach. Maybe there's a particular aspect of something you teach and you're not really the expert on that and it'd be great to bring in someone. So for example, if you teach about earning an income online and maybe the technical aspect is not your strong suit, you can find someone who's the expert, for example, in WordPress and interview them about the five things that everyone should know about WordPress to make it work. Now, the next big question you're going to ask yourself is what to ask. And so in this section, I want to give you an overview of how to structure your interviews and the questions to really make the interviews valuable. So what about preparing for the questions? The first thing to ask yourself is what really is the goal of the interview? What action do I want people to take once they finish listening or watching? Then what you want to do is you want to ask questions that provide the person the information they need to take the action. So for example, let me give you an overview of structuring an overall interview. I call this the story steps, stops and start method. So you'd open with what I refer to as a branded opening. You always wanna open your interviews the same way with your name, a reference to your website, and then whatever your 
big authentic promises or your USP or tagline as it's often called. Then you want to introduce your guests. And the goal here is to establish credibility. Why should people pay attention to what this person has to say? Then what I suggest you do is begin with the story. How did the person come up with this? How did they learn it? What have been the results that they've gotten overall? Next, cover the steps, the three to five steps that are going to deliver real value in the conversation. Remember, the goal is to move people to a specific action, whether it's going to purchase a book, an information product, implementing something in their business and life. The next thing you want to do is eliminate the stops. Well, what's that? It's the obstacles. It's the objections. You want to talk about a couple of different scenarios that might stop the person or things that might get in the way. And then maybe provide some solutions, some tools, some recommendations to help them move forward. Then tell them how to start. Be very specific. In marketing, we call this a call to action. Give them a specific action to take and tell them what to do. Then you want to close your interviews with what I'll refer to as a branded closing. Just like you open your interviews in the same way, I suggest that you close your interviews the same way as well. And in that closing interview, uh, what I suggest you do is do exactly what I'm about to do right now. If you're putting out a video, ask them to subscribe to the video, to rate it, to give it a thumbs up on YouTube, to leave a comment below the video. You want to get that interaction. Also, one thing that I do is I ask people, what's the biggest idea or the best idea you learned and will apply from this video? It's always a great way to encourage interaction. Well, that's all for this video. Remember, subscribe, rate it, give me a thumbs up, and comment below.